entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Youngin' when he's a roaring. <laughs> <laughs> he's always roaring. Oh. Uh, I won't be long at the land office. Where are you going? Well, I'm going in and give Phil Kobe a piece of my mind. Them work socks I bought for you didn't last no time. Good for you, Ma. <laughs> I'll see. I'm going to do over the armsy. That's two points. OK, you're five points ahead. I'm going to do backhands over the headsy. That's five points. Now watch! Ouch! I'll teach you, you little ruffian. Come back there, you... I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't even know he was there. Roy couldn't see him. He wouldn't hurt anybody anyhow. Now, settle down, both of you. Roy, you seem to be the cause of this. Just what happened? I'll show you, Annie. Give me your knife. See, he was sitting down, doing a back handsy over the headsy, like this, see? Ouch! Ooh. Gee, I'm sorry, Annie. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to knock your head sick Now, just a minute, mister. Leave those kids alone. Just who are you, anyway? My name is Boyd Spencer. I'm a... I'm an investor. Well, you'd better go out and start investing something and stay out of kids' games. Come on, fellas. Uh, you just wait a minute, Miss Trigger, quick. Hold it! Tell it to me, Missy. You buying any? Not my fight. What was the beef? Nothing, Lofty. It was just kid stuff. And you fellas listen to me. I know that a jack knife is standard male equipment. But you're going to have to learn you can't use them like a tomahawk. I'll see you in the office, Annie. Got some news for you. All right, Lofty. Well, it looks like your folks are ready to leave, Rory. Let's go. <laughs> Finally got here, by Thunder. The deeds are our homestead section. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Wiggins. 640 acres of government land. Sure makes a man feel real proud, owning a piece of the United States. <laughs> well, you fought for it, Pa. Sure, sure. Right up to Appomattox, but that's a man's beholden duty. Say, uh, what was the matter with that fellow there? Oh, nothing, really. Only a stranger would have made a fuss. Well, now, he ain't exactly a stranger. I've seen him several times riding around the big sink country. A couple of times, he had another fellow with him. Well, that might be worth remembering. Well, come on, Rory, let's ah, get going. Pa. Now, now, just quit your roaring. Get up in that wagon there. there you go. Pants every pop of button. You'll spread that youngin' all over the road. Yeah, well, <laughs> he'll bounce right back up again. <laughs> Goodbye, Annie. We'll be Bye. seeing you. Bye, Annie. Bye. Bye, Rory. Bye, Annie, I'm hungry. Well, I'll feed you, Tad. But after that, you're going to have to get that arithmetic done. Hmm. Oh, what's that news, Lofty? Anything wrong? Uh, just more of the same. The wheelers are going to sell out quick. They lose more cattle? 19 head. Somebody poisoned their water tank on the edge of the big sink. First, it was the Maddens. Their fences were cut and a hundred head were rustled. They want to sell their place. And Carl Hunt was shot while out looking for strays, and they want to sell out. And now the Wheelers. Lofty, what's back of all this? I don't know, Annie. It beats me. 
You know, I was talking to Tom Wheeler today. He said it seemed like all this trouble came with that earthquake we had last August. I know it sounds silly, but it did happen about a month after that. At least that's when the Madden's herd was run out. Say, Lofty, do you know a fellow by the name of Boyd Spencer? Yeah. That was Spencer with a man I dropped out in the street. He's a buyer for Winton and Dale, those ranch brokers. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. You see, right after Carl Hunt was shot, well, I ran on to Spencer one day, riding out in the big sink. I checked him out then. Why do you ask? Just curious. Maybe we ought to check him a little farther. Nah, I already have. He said he made his headquarters at Cactus Junction, so I checked with Sheriff Noble. Noble gave him a clean bill of health. Well, if he's a ranch buyer, why didn't he buy up the Madden and Hunt spread? I don't know. Maybe he's just waiting for a little time to pull the price down. Could be. I still don't understand all there is to know about this. I think I'll take a ride out tomorrow and see the wheelers. I'll go with you, Annie. You're going to go in and get washed up for dinner. Come on, you heard her. Yeah, I heard her. What's the matter, Annie? Those men are heading up to the big sink. What of it? They're entitled to the big sink. Maybe so, but one of them's Spencer. Oh, him. Come on, Tag, let's do a little snoop. Hold it. We're being followed. That's Danny Oakley and her brother, Mr. Jessup. We'll stop them. I don't want them shot, just shot at. Come close enough to let them know we don't want them snooping around here. Take care of it, Butler. You go ahead to the caves. I'll go on over to the Wheeler place. All right, come on. He's up there, Annie. I seen the smoke when he fired. Cut him down. You can do it. Saw the smoke tag. I can't reach him with a six-year against that rifle. Gee, you gonna let that guy shoot at us all day? He's not trying to hit us, Tag. He's just trying to scare us out of here. If he really wanted to hit us, all he'd have to do would be to raise his sights a little. Aren't you gonna find out why he's shooting at us? I'll find out, but some other time. Right now, I think it's more important that I go back and talk to Tom Wheeler. Come on. Looks like the Wheelers have company. You stay here, Tag. Okay, Annie. Land sakes alive if it ain't Annie Oakley. Come in, Annie. Thank you, Miss Wheeler. Good morning, Mr. Wheeler. Good morning, Annie. Say, you look like you had your dander up about something. I have. Somebody shot at tagging me on the way over here. Who shot at you? I don't know. But they sure wanted to keep us out of the big sink. On my land? Yes. Well, under these conditions, I don't think I can sell property. If, uh... Oh, excuse me. Annie, this is Frank Jessup. Annie Oakley, Mr. Jessup. Miss Oakley. Hello, Mr. Jessup. What property are you going to sell, Mr. Wheeler? The ranch. I've had enough. Are you getting a good price for it? Ten thousand. Ten thousand? That's not even a third of what the property's worth. I know, but... You must be a pretty sharp trader, Mr. Jessup. Are you by any chance associated with Winton and Dale? I don't know anything about Winton and Dale, except, of course, they're the largest ranch brokers in the West. Well, if you want to buy a ranch, why don't you deal through them? My dear young woman, I don't think how I deal or who I deal with is any of your business. Did you say deal or steal? Mr. Wheeler, I... Look, Mr. Wheeler, you can't sell out that cheap. Joe Wiggins proved out on his claim just the other day, and he was the happiest man on earth to have the land. He was as proud as a peacock just to own a section of it. There's not anybody that could run him off of it now. Are you going to let this man practically rob you just because you've lost a few head of cattle? 
I guess... I can see this is no time to discuss the matter, Mr. Wheeler. You'll hear from me later. Kind of got his neck hair up a bit, didn't Janny? But who is this man, Jessup, anyhow? I don't know exactly. Easterner, so he says. And he's got the money in cash. Yeah. That kind usually does. But what are they after? Who? Well, Jessup and the man named Spencer and all the other strangers that are drifting into town. All the old faces are leaving. And I sure don't like the new ones that are coming in. Oh, maybe they're just looking for some bargain ranches. No, I don't think so. Say, this ranch of yours does run down to the big sink, doesn't it? Runs plumb into it, right to where my eastern line meets Joe Wiggins's claim. Does Wiggins have any trouble? Nary a bit that I know of. Well, then, all of the ranchers that own land down at the big sink are the ones that uh, have had all the trouble. That's right. Hunts, Maddens, Wigginses. And us, we own all of it. Land sakes, what's so important about the big sink? As far as I can see, it's just like all the rest of the land around here, except the graze is poor. Somebody told me once it was a volcano a zillion years ago. Well, that's what the geologists call a fault, Mrs. Wheeler. Um, a slippage of the rock strata. Say, maybe there's a river or a lake under it. Land sakes, Wheeler, will you listen to this girl? Where'd you learn all that, Annie? Oh, well. A government geologist that came through here last fall that was looking for earthquake information told me about it. Well, I don't care what the earthquakes do to the big sink, but I want them to keep out of my pantry. Last time, broke three of my wedding china dishes. Mr. Wheeler, you're not going to sell, are you? We don't want to lose all of the good people around here. No. No, Annie, I won't sell. Well, praise be. I'm mighty glad to see you have got some spunk, Wheeler. Even if Annie Oakley had to give it to you. Oh. No, I won't sell, but I am going to have a closer look at the big sink. I'll ride out with you. Glad to have you. Bye, Miss Wheeler. Goodbye, Annie. Come back again real soon. Thank you. Here's where we stopped, Mr. Wheeler. He was right up there in those rocks. There ain't no reason to gun anybody up here. There is a reason. Something we don't know anything about and something we can't even see. Nothing but rocks. Gold comes in rocks. Gosh, honey, so it does. I'm going to get some of the other ranchers. I'll meet you at the Wiggins' place and we'll all take a look at the big sink. That's a good idea. Yeah. about Tom Wheeler. There's nothing to worry about, Annie. There's a dozen places that Tom could be. As soon as he gets back, we'll take a look through the canyon and the sink, and then we'll report to you later in town. No, I'd feel much better if I went out to look for Tom right now. I'll pick up Tag on the way out. Hey, Annie, look! It's Mr. Wheeler. Come on. but he may die before we get him to Doc Baker's. Get the horses, Ted. Okay, sis. Is Tom Wheeler dead? No. He's no better, either. Still unconscious and still fighting double pneumonia from that hole in his lungs. I've got to get back over to Doc's in case he wakes up and is able to talk. Well, what are you doing with these? Oh, well, I thought maybe you'd run these out to the ranch and see how Mrs. Wheeler's getting along. 
Tom's getting shot just about Florida. Well, I can't take him out like this. Doctor, look here. Tar. Oh, Tom was probably patching a tar roof just before he was shot. Lofty, sometimes I think I'll have to marry you. Annie, will you? Oh, no, Where? Wait just a minute. I didn't say I would. I said I might have to. <laughs> now, listen to me. Tom Wheeler was shot out in the big sink. Now, suppose you walked in some tar out there. What would that mean? Well, that would mean that uh, somebody's getting mighty careless with tar. Oh, Lofty, sometimes I could just beat you. Well, I'm not going to take these clothes back yet. I want to keep these boots here for a while. Where are you going, Annie? Can I go? Well, you can ride out to the Wiggins turn off, and I'll pick you up at Rory's on the way back. Okay, sis. All no, we have to do is slap some tar in the roof, and she'll be finished. Where are you going to get any tar? Tar's got both the barrel of it in the barn, and I know where there's all kinds of it out in the sink. Well, let's go get some. Yeah. I want to shoot that steepest line as far back in the cave as we can get. You drop back down the trail and see that we're not bothered. Right. Let's get this gear inside. Don't smoke, you fool. There's enough natural gas in that cave to blow the top off this mountain. Put it here. This seepage line runs true to form. There's enough oil under the big sink to supply four countries. Give me a trial site. These young gentlemen lost their horses. I told them we might be able to help them look for them. The chubby one's the Wiggins kid. Oh? I don't understand it. Pixie usually doesn't run off. 
Somebody must have scared them away after we dismounted. I don't think anybody would do that. They probably just wandered off. I don't know. Butler, come here. You know, we've never been able to do anything about Wiggins before because he was never able to prove his government land out. But now he has. And now we can do something. That's just the way I had it figured. Come in. Mr. Wiggins? That's right. Come in, mister. Is your son and the Oakley boy around? No, they ain't. Anything wrong? Well, now, I wouldn't say anything was wrong yet. We found their horses wandering around out in the sink, and no trace of the boys. I reckon they'll turn up. It might be a long time, though, if they get real lost. What, Pa? They could get hurt out there afoot with all those rattlers and things. Now, don't you take on, ma'am. I just thought Mr. Wiggins would want to help us look for them. Well, you bet I do. I'll be right with you. Where'd you say the horses were? In Cave Canyon. Now, don't you worry, Ma. I won't be any longer than I have to. All right. he saw only the kids' horses in Cave Canyon. You know, Mrs. Wiggins, there's a joker in this. A big, black, dirty joker. And I think I know what it is. Can you ride a horse? Can I ride a horse? I can ride a horse, throw a rope, brand a calf, and shoot a rifle. <laughs> that makes it perfect. Have you got any steel-jacketed Winchester ammunition here? I, I think so. Look. Every time you want to use a rifle around here, you want a soft-nosed bullet. Here are three steel jackets. If I hit the cave strata with these, they should cause sparks and explode the gas. Be enough? It'll have to be. You take the soft-nosed bullets and get the Winchesters. All right. That's all you have to do, Mr. Wiggins. Just sign this agreement to sell me your ranch. I get it. And all this routine is for your finding the boys, huh? That's right. Glad my men found the boys and their horses. Come on, boys. by now that Frank Jessup hired Spencer to double-cross his employers, the ranch brokers, and tried to run you off your land by a reign of terror. Well, it didn't work. We well, can sure we're thank you for everything. Right? No, I didn't. It didn't work, and, well, between you, 
you own one of the richest oil fields that's ever been discovered in this country. What? Hey, hey, what do you know? And I have here the sales agreements you signed for Spencer. I want you to know they're absolutely worthless because they were obtained by fraud and intimidation. The title to your lands is clear. Gee, that's great, oh, Sheriff. Oh, thank you. Tag, will you and Rory give these back to the people who own them? Sure, Lofty. Annie, this is worth getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> Only one more thing, Annie. I still say Tom could have been fixing a tar roof the day he was shot. Lofty, I swear I will have to marry you. No? Someday. <laughs>